in a commercial kitchen and we're inspecting the plumbing, the very first item and element that you should be looking for is a backflow preventer. That backflow could, preventer could be located in this, a mechanical room like this. It could be located in the valve room where the fire suppression system is. In this particular case, our backflow preventer is located there. In the purposes of this video, I cannot show you that because I don't have access to that room. But I know it's there because I was here once before. But beyond that, when you're inspecting the plumbing, you should look at the entire system as the system. And so this is a very sophisticated building. We have two large commercial water heaters. Both of these water heaters are state of Colorado inspected. They're more than water heaters. They're actually considered to be boiler inspection. These are high efficiency commercial grade units. Both of these units are gas. Both of these units are high efficiency that go out through PVC. Both of these units are high temp and ready for operation. They both have circulation pumps moving water around the building. Um, I can tell you that this unit from my last experience does have a leak. That's why it's, it's been shut down over here. When we're looking at these, we want to make sure that we have temperature pressure relief valves going down to within six inches of the floor. We want to make sure that both of them don't have any rust or scale on them and they're not leaking. That's really beyond that all that we're going to look at when we're looking at our inspection of the plumbing in here. Let's go take a look in the kitchen space at some additional plumbing items. Plumbing and plumbing safety is really important. Um, one of the bigger issues we want to worry about is cross-contamination. That's contaminating the potable water with the sanitary water. That's usually mitigated by the installation of a backflow preventer. But beyond that, there are a lot of interior, interior and internal devices that are added. Things like having the faucet installed above the flood rim. That's a very important element. So that way we don't have water coming up. Sprayers. If we have a sprayer, it needs to be spring-loaded and held up in the air so that water does not get in touch with it. Yes, this can get down low, but as soon as I release it, it's up high above the flood rim. Other items that might be present uh, would be individual vacuum breakers on some of the appliances that will be most likely found on service sinks. So that would be something we want to take a look at in our next video. But the idea, we run our plumbing. We should run all the plumbing in the building. I, oh, I, that's right. The hot water is off. Um, but we want to run all the plumbing in the building. We want to run all of the systems in the building. We want to make sure we don't have any areas of cross-contamination.